Hey, hey, welcome everyone to this week's episode of the Amazon Files brought to you by Mommy Income. I am your host, Kristen Ostrander, and today I want to talk about what we all maybe need to be doing right now. This is our code word for the day. Um, if you want to be in our Facebook group and have a continual conversation with me and other people, um, hundreds, actually thousands of other sellers from beginner to all advanced, um, join the Facebook group, mommyincome.com forward slash join us. Use the code word now. You need a code word. Why? We need a code word so that we don't get spammers and craziness in the Facebook group, but we'd love to have a continual conversation with you. We'd love engagement and being able to just chat with you about your business issues. There's lots of smart sellers out there that are helping other people just because they want to, because they want to prevent you from having the same issues that other people have had along the way. It helps you save time, money, energy, um, learn things faster so that you can have the most profitable business that you can possibly have. And that's what we want for you. So mommyincome.com forward slash join us. Use the code word now so that you can get in. I'd love to see you in the Facebook group. Now, today we're really going to talk about getting serious. Um, I've heard a lot of complaints lately. I see a lot of things in social media and stuff like that where people are complaining about there's not enough room, there's opportunities are diminishing, and it's saturated. These are words we hear all the time. Is it still a viable business model? Amazon, you know, it's too saturated. Everybody's there. We're moving on to bigger and better things. Well, my first question to you, if you are in that camp of kind of wondering and worrying and thinking, is is this still right for me? Is this still right at all? Are people still doing this? Are people still starting this? Um, maybe you've been in it for a while and you're like, this isn't really working as well as I thought it would be. And maybe you're ready to jump ship or you're kind of been playing around with it, making some money. But now you're realizing what is this actually real? Like, can I make a decent salary at home with Amazon like all these other people are saying that they're doing? The answer is yes. The answer is absolutely yes, you can do that. And it is still a viable opportunity. As a matter of fact, there are people who started after me that have surpassed me already. And that happens for all kinds of reasons. This is not a comparison game. This is not a keeping up with the Joneses thing. It's not anything like that. But it's something that we need to, to create awareness. It creates awareness that if that's something you want and you want to grow your business and you've been dabbling in it, or maybe it's been a side job or a side hustle or something, and you're like, is this really for me? Is this really serious? I've made some money, but is it possible to make six figures on Amazon today in 2022 or in the following or coming years? And anyone who tells you that it's not and it's not a, it's not available or the opportunity isn't there, they're simply trying to eliminate their competition, aka you. Um, because the opportunity is more than growing. Amazon and e-commerce is now m-commerce. If you've ever seen that new term now, it's called m-commerce. Um, it, it was e-commerce for the past 20 some years and now they're turning it into m-commerce, which is even more different. They're calling it mobile commerce. Mobile meaning pretty much the same thing as online, but now people are even more looking for it like social commerce, social media commerce and mobile. Everybody's buying things from their phone. So that's really the only difference in e-commerce, mobile commerce, whatever else. But let's be real. The new normal is buying everything online, even groceries, even prescriptions, even everything. Like if you did not want to go to a brick and mortar store ever again, I believe almost everything that you could possibly want to purchase, you can have either delivered or you can order online. Of course, it's all delivered. I guess if it's ordered online, that was kind of silly. But you know what I mean? Anything, groceries, food, prescriptions, literally everything. There's even like mobile mechanics that will come to your place, fix your car at your location. I mean, people pay for convenience all the time, right? So the, the only thing I have to say really is that the opportunities are not decreasing, they're increasing. And the only difference between you growing and someone else growing is the time, money, effort, and energy and action that you're taking. Time, money, commitment, and action. So if you see someone who you've been in the game, <clears throat> excuse me, if you see someone that's been in the game for a while and they're surpassing you and you're starting to see that and starting to see numbers and they're killing it and they're doing this and that, the best question to be first you need to ask yourself is, is this what I want? Do I want that? 
a lot of times people are looking and inspired and motivated and chasing after a goal that's not even their own. Like, oh yeah, wouldn't it be nice to have a million dollar business? Well, maybe. Depends on the workload. Depends on your lifestyle. Depends on what you want to do from day to day. It might not be for you. You might not even actually need that to be more comfortable than you are right now. Well, if you live in like California or, you know, really expensive states, maybe that's just like the norm. But like the reality that I'm trying to bring to your attention is that number one, you have to decide, and I've been saying this over and over, so this is not new information. If you want to hear it over and over, listen to all the podcast episodes. You have to decide what you want for you, and then you have to decide the plan to get that, whatever that is. So whether it's a million-dollar business or a six-figure salary on 20 hours a week, whatever it is that feels right for you, number one, just choose that. Figure that out. You deserve it. You can want it. You can have it. Even if it seems so far away from where you are right now, there's an opportunity for people to earn millions of dollars from their homes in 2022. We we live in an amazing time where the nine to five is no longer, especially since the pandemic, more and more people, more and more companies, more and more opportunities are arising. People don't realize they can work from home. And honestly, working from home isn't for everyone either. There are people that are, that hate the work from home. They want to go and be separate from their home life and be able to do their work and focus. And some people just can't. I mean, (laughs) if you're an electrician or a carpenter or things like that, like you're not working from home, you have to be on location doing those things. But there's a lot of people that are discovering after what they call the great you know, resignation where everyone was leaving their jobs and looking for better and more and different opportunities. I know that the opportunities are increasing, but eventually there will be a plateau. Eventually there will be a time where we missed the boat. The boat came by several times and we didn't get on it. Or if we got on it, we jumped off of it because we thought we weren't sure if that was going to be headed in the direction that we were going. So I'm asking you to take the opportunity today to first figure out if you want to grow your business or start your business if you haven't started. I would love to have a conversation with you about that. If you haven't even started and you have questions, concerns, comments, you're not even sure if this business is right for you or what business might be right for you. I'm really good at pulling that out of people. So you can schedule a coaching session anytime, mommyincome.com forward slash coaching. I'd be happy to talk with you about any of your business goals, even if they're not e-commerce related, because I have this amazing ability to pull out people's highest potential, even if it's not for e-commerce. So I can help you do that. And I would love to help you do that. It's one of my favorite things to do is just get with clients and talk with them about their biggest goals, dreams, and lives and set them on a plan to achieve those, even if they're not in the Amazon realm. Because guess what? Business is business is business. And yes, there's nuances of every business, but the the fundamentals of what you want, what you need, and how you need to execute those things are very much the same. But it's really time to get serious because you really have more to lose than you realize, especially if you've already invested and already started your Amazon business and you're kind of dormant or you're stuck in what we call analysis paralysis. We talked about that in the last episode, so go back and listen to that. Um, But it goes down to what is it that you want and the three simple steps I'm going to talk to you here of how you can grow your business, specifically with Amazon. But if that's not the case for you and you're really kind of floundering and wondering and you need some direction, I'm here to help you. I can help you direct you away from Amazon or towards it, depending on what your needs and goals are, what your lifestyle is, what you want eventually. You've got to get clear about what you want and how it's not dependent on anyone else. Yes, you have a family, maybe a spouse, partner, husband, wife, something going on, maybe another nine to five that you have to go to, whatever that that is. But figuring that out, And then figuring out the next few steps are all you really need to keep moving. We get stuck because we get scared. We get stuck. We keep ourselves stuck because we get scared to take a wrong move, a different move, a bad move. We're scared to make mistakes. We need to learn more. We need more information. No, no, we don't. What do you want? And what are the next logical steps to get that thing that you want? How how big is the gap between where you are and where you want to be? And how do we fill in the steps? What are your current skills? What are the skills that you need to learn to get to bridge that gap? But in the Amazon business, 
I have a few things that I've used personally that have got me where I want to be. Where I want to be is actually where I am. I got where I am by taking the next small steps to get closer to that, not a leap from here to there. We're not like jumping over a, a, a deep cavern of black holes. We're not just taking a huge leap. We're taking the next step in front of us to get closer to what's on the other side. And I'm going to be honest with you, sometimes getting and arriving to that other side is maybe not all you thought it was. Maybe you get there and you thought you wanted that and then you want something different. But that's okay. You know why? Because you learned how. You learned how to get what you wanted. And once you do that once, twice, or three times and you work hard to get that, you really start believing that you could have anything that you want. Ten years ago, I might not have believed that. I had this small little hope in me that things could be better than they are today. And that's all I needed to take the next step. So I'm sharing that with you today because it's not as complicated as our brains want it to be. Our brains are wired to have this protection mechanism called fear and fear hinders us from taking the next step or it shows us the big, huge steps. And we're like, oh, we don't know what that is. But really, the next step not the 10th or 13th step. And guess what? It takes a little bit of, you know it, work to get to even defining what you want and what are the next steps. Sometimes people are like, I know exactly what I want, but I'm not sure how to get there. Well, the how is the easier part. I can help you with how, but I can't help you with why or defining what you want. That's up to you. So that's really what we need to get clear about here. What do you want from your business? And if it simply is a specific number on a page, a specific salary, so be it. That doesn't, it's neither here nor there. There's no judgments on that. If you say, I literally want to make $300,000 a year profit in my bank account, that is a very concrete goal to have. And there's lots of different ways to add to that bottom line, specifically with your business. but you have to know what you want first and then defining the steps can be very flexible. But there are definitely some guaranteed things that I feel like no matter what business you're in, especially in Amazon, that you're going to need to do if you want to grow. And these are things that you can do and execute soon, like immediately. Some are immediate. Some of them are going to take a some time, but we're going to go through those. And I'm going to just literally give you three simple steps that you can do to grow your business sooner than later, like right now, literally now. Um, these are steps that I've personally taken that have been game changers, changers, game changers from going from $2,000 a month to $5,000 a month in your pocket. Those are the kind of game changing things I'm saying. Now, what you're not going to hear me saying is that that happens overnight. It doesn't. It takes two, three, four months to catch up to what you're going to invest in. So if you have an investment portfolio, for example, you put your money in and you continue putting your money in and you don't check the, hopefully, <laughs> you're not checking the stock market every single day because these are long-term investments. You're not looking at it going, oh my gosh, we're up today. Oh my gosh, we're down today. Oh my gosh, we lost 10%. Oh my gosh, we're up 25%. We don't look at the day to day. What is the long-term goal and after three months, every quarter, you can reevaluate. Are you on track? Are you off track? How are, are you? Are you tracking towards those goals? Are, do you even still care about the goals? So sometimes people don't even have them or don't care about them. And they're like, oh, I've made all these decisions and I'm just kind of circling the wagon because I'm being busy and producing and being productive and making progress is totally different. We can be busy and actually be doing absolutely nothing. I don't, I mean, some of you are probably like, how is that possible? Or some of you are like, yes, I do that every day and wonder what the heck happened. We can be busy doing things, but not making progress. And I really just want you to make progress if that's what you want. And now this doesn't mean that life isn't going to get in the way. It means that when you have time to sit down and work on your business, that you are working on the most important things because time is money and time is precious and so is money. So we might as well be focused when we do have the time. So simple steps to grow your business. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. If you want to grow, you're going to have to invest. And when I mean invest, I don't just mean, when I, most people think of investing, they think money. 
And yes, there's some money involved to be investing, but there's something that major successful people that continue being successful in their lives do. And after evaluating all this stuff and reading, I read a lot of, I watch a lot of documentaries. I read a lot of different things about people who have all kinds from music to sports, to political people, to, you know, civil activists and all these kinds of things. I'm fascinated with people and what they do and what they're passionate about. And upon my studies of these, and this is like what I do in my spare time because I find it fascinating. I find it very cool to learn about people and how they, their rise to the top or their rise to the bottom and then back to the top, all those kind of things. And one of the things I've seen is that no one that's successful does it by themselves. So if you're currently listening right now, and you don't have anyone working for you or working with you or subcontracted or freelancing or a warehouse or something, that is one of the first moves that you need to make. Stop doing everything yourself and stop assuming that it's going to be too expensive for you to hire help. You are smart. You are capable. You can hire help. You've all hired help before in your life. Even if you're a stay-at-home parent, stay-at-home mom, maybe even if you're 20, you've more than likely hired someone to do something for you. Have you ever been to the dry cleaners? Have you ever had DoorDash? Have you ever had Uber? Ever had your lawn mowed? Ever paid a babysitter? Any of those things. Garbage pickup. Unless you take your garbage to the dump every single week, you hire garbage service. Some services are forced upon us. Some things are suggested. But the, the truth is you have hired people before. You, knew, you have to know exactly what you want, what you want them to do, what your budget is, and how often they're going to perform those tasks. It literally is not more complicated than that. I'm just going to say that out loud again so that you can like, we can take a collective breath and I'm going to kind of repeat that so that we can get it into our heads that it's not that difficult to hire help. You need to know what you want, what is your budget, what you expect them to do, how often you expect them to do it. That's, th there really is details. You could hire someone to literally sort your mail and file it and then leave for one hour. I mean, you'd be surprised at what you can hire someone to do both in-house and out of house. So one of, that is one of the things that I really want you to understand about how you grow your business. These are things you can do right now. Hire help. A babysitter, a dog sitter, uh, someone to do your lawn care, someone to do your laundry, someone to cook for you. Maybe it's HelloFresh three times a week so that that extra hour you spend cooking can maybe just be work towards your business. Be intentional about whatever it is you're hiring and so that you can get more time in your business. Because if you have more time to work on the fundamentals of your business, the money-making tasks, you will instantly make more money. So it costs $30 a week to have our lawn mowed. Lawn mowing and trimming and things like that here probably take about an hour total. What's one hour worth to you? For $30, you can buy, for $30, we buy an hour of, of someone's life in this house of not having to do lawn care. I mean, if you really come down to it, it's like, what's it worth to you? And what are you going to do with that hour? So hire some sort of help, a prep center, a prep person, a VA, someone who can do some admin tasks. And remember, you do not have to have somebody even part-time. You can hire someone for five hours a week, for one hour a week, two or three, and figure out what that's worth to you and buy yourself an hour. Why? Because no successful business person does all of the things all of the time. Trust me, I've tried. I ran myself into the ground, burned myself almost out and almost quit everything at one point because I'm like, I'm so successful. I'm making so much money, but I don't have time to enjoy any of my life because that's all I do is work 60 to 80 a week. You basically work all day, most of the night, you go to bed, you rinse, repeat, you come back again. No enjoyment because all I'm doing is working for money. And at that point, life's not worth it. I could have all the money in the world, but no time. 
that feels broke to me. <laughs> I'd rather have time and not necessarily money because I'm rarely bored. Um, so even if it, if I don't have money to spend, I will literally find something fun to do. I just like fun. I like to be entertained by my own curiosities and creativities and being outside and all kinds of things. So I will never be bored. But you don't always have the time. You might not always have the money. But either way, if you're hiring something in your business, use that hour to grow your bottom line. Which brings me to the second simple thing that you can do right now that anybody, anywhere, no matter if your business is making five bucks or five million, you can do something right now to grow. The next thing that you can do besides hiring someone and what the difference it makes. Let me go back to that one second because I want to tell you the difference that it makes. When you hire someone, bring on some help, whatever that is. Um, initially, you're going to feel a crunch because all of a sudden money is going out. But it takes some time to level that out. But once it levels out, then it goes way higher. So for example, I took a 50% pay cut when I invited a partner into my business. 50%. That's a huge hit, right? Especially when I was baking peanuts to begin with. But within a three month time span of bringing a full time 50 50 partner, I basically bought half of my time back. And with that extra time, instead of just taking it off and I don't know, like doing whatever I wanted, I spent that time back into the business and in three months time doubled it because I had double the time to work on it. So in the beginning, if it took you three, if I tell you, right, if, if, if I were, I mean, I, this is not cut and dry, right? This is all how, how you manage it in your business and your finances. But if you're making $500 a week right now, and then you hire someone half of that time, you're making half the pay, right? But now you've got double the hours. Two people working 40 hours a week, and in that time, you can double your business. It only took us three months to literally double all of our numbers because we had double the opportunity. Now, at the beginning, the sacrifice was that I lost three months of pay. It actually took half pay. And it was crappy, to be honest. It was hard. But in the end, it was like, oh my gosh, now instead of making this, I'm making double that, double my original number, not double my half, but double my original 500, which is 500 dollars a week profit in my pocket salary if you will years ago when i first took on a partner this was like 2014. <laughs> um then went down to about 250 a week for a while it was so hard to live on that to deal with that but then within three months time was back up to a thousand dollars like this was the trajectory that's what I'm, the picture i'm trying to paint for you is that when you make an investment it takes some time and a learning curve to try to get that out whether it's a time investment money investment whatever that is but then it pays dividends down the road what you do today will be your results in three to six months from now your results that you work on today don't come tomorrow they come three to six months from now or a year from now. It's like they say, the best pl time to plant a tree is 20 years ago or right now. So you have to really think about those things and realize that you're not going to get that instant gratification, that instant result right away. But eventually, if you use that time wisely that you just purchased, aka hiring someone, then it's going to pay dividends. If you train that person, teach them and help them take stuff off of your plate that's most important to you, then you can use your time to make more money in less time. It's really awesome. It's scary. It's hard. There's the, I was very resistant to it at the beginning with control issues and other things like that, but then realized it was such a game changer. So that's number one is hiring help. But number two is looking at your numbers to figure out what needs to change. What needs to change? There's always something that needs to change. There's always something that you can look at and say, am I making the right margins on this? Or looking at your numbers more closely, setting aside the time. This is what people don't do. They don't set aside the time. They're like, oh, I don't have time for that. I don't have time to look at my numbers. I have to order pro products and I have to ship and I have to label and I have to, you know, do all this stuff or I have to go sourcing and, and things like that. They, I, I have to make bundles. I don't have time to look at my numbers. You don't have time not to. Business is all about the numbers. And if you don't know them, and if you don't know, like off the top of your head coming to you and say, what is your profit margin or what is your uh, net profit on your top selling product in Amazon? 
I feel like most people should be able to say that exact number. Like on our number one selling product right now, we make $22.72 per sale on our number one. Like, do you know that number? Do you? Do you know that number? Do you know exactly what you're making on that? Do you know if your cost of goods can go down? If you know that you're trajecting like a certain number of sales, can you order in bulk and have that number go down for your cost of goods? Do you have any credit card fees that you pay that you can call and have them reduced? There are tons of ways to look at your numbers and reduce expenses, increase margins, increase ROIs, and doing cost of goods. And that doesn't cost you anything but time. Is that something that you can hire a VA to do or hire a friend to do, hire somebody that you know to say, hey, can you go through my account and pick out all of these items or give them the proper reports or, you know, if you have inventory lab, the profit and loss, the, the profitability by SKU in inventory lab is one of my most favorite reports that I can see is that they give me profitability by SKU to where I can go in and sort by the top, top sellers, most revenue, look at the profitability per SKU. You go, oh, I don't know that number because I'm searching transactions on Amazon. I know that number because I have Inventory Lab and I go to my profit and loss and then I go to my um, ASIN profitability and I sort by the highest profitability. I don't know that number because I'm superhuman or special. I know that number because I look for it. I know that number because I'm intentional about making sure that I am making the most amount of money that I possibly can out of the work that I'm doing. I don't do this for nothing. <laughs> We're trying to put food on the table here. I'm trying to fund my other dreams. In order to fund my other dreams, I need to make sure that every dollar and cent is going to the proper place and that I'm not wasting any of it. Because we work hard, y'all. All of us, we work hard. I don't want any dollar wasted. So I'm challenging you to look at your numbers, look at your cost of goods, and they all have gone up in the past two years. So reevaluate, raise your prices, call your vendors, find out if there's any other way you can save money. Why? Because this is what business owners do or business owners put their, their um, staff on doing. You know, they have these big top line meetings and they make the decisions and then they tell other people, go look at these numbers, find them and find the holes in the bucket and plug them. Well, because your CEO and janitor, probably working um, just solo entrepreneur, you're going to have to do all that or you're going to hire it. So number one, hiring some help. Number two, looking at your numbers, filling the holes in the bucket. And finally, it's education. Investing in order to grow doesn't always have to just be a bunch of money into products or services like that. Education. You learn more, you earn more. I don't even have to say more than that. If you are doing something right now and you want to make more money, one of the major things that you can do is learn a new skill that gives you a level of expertise or a level of something that will level you up. If you have a bachelor's degree, they say go get a master's then you're more educated, then you're more qualified to do other things. Same thing in the Amazon world. If you're doing arbitrage, it's time to do wholesale. Level up. If you are doing wholesale, it's time to do bundles. Level up. It's, you can't expect a change if you don't make one. You have to make the change. You have to decide that you and your goals and your business is worth it and then invest in that. Sometimes that investment is product. Sometimes it's service. Sometimes it's coaching. Sometimes it's mentorship. Sometimes it's education. Sometimes it's hiring help or a product or a service that will literally make you faster, more efficient, or smarter to be able to take care of it. What new skill would give you the potential to earn more money in your business one right now? Could it be bundling? Could it be wholesale? Could it be private label? Could it be importing? Could it be making your own? I don't know. Maybe it's brand registry and you need to learn about that or learn about trademarks. What is one skill or one thing that you can learn that has the potential to earn you more money right now towards your goals? One skill at a time. These are just three simple things that have helped me grow to where I am today. And where is that? A six-figure salary in 20 hours a week or less. As a matter of fact, I work about 16 hours on my Amazon business, two days. 
That's because I have help. It's because I have prep centers and VAs and a partner. Now, that's not all right for everybody, but it was right for me. And that's the reason I can do that. I'm not here saying I run a one man show and I'm really proud of that and I work 80 hours a week. No, that is not what I want and need in my business. So what do you want and need in your business? And what one of these things or three of these things are you going to do? Hire some help, look at your numbers, find the holes in the bucket and plug them and learn a new skill that will help you. Now, if you wanna learn wholesale and bundling, Wholesale Bundle System is the best way for you to do that. It's the most comprehensive step-by-step -step video course you'll get out there, period. I've watched most of them. I will tell you, it is awesome. It will give you everything you need. And you can start right now if that's what you want, if that's the way you're gonna level up. If it's not, maybe a coaching call. Maybe it's something else you need to learn, advertising or trademarking or anything like that. We have all the resources that you need at Mommy Income. Visit our website, go to our resources page, reach out to me. I would love to be able to help you move forward with one or all three of these things. You guys, you could be anywhere else doing any other thing. I know I don't take that for granted. Thank you for listening to the Amazon Files podcast. Leave a review, share this episode, leave comments, and don't forget um, mommyincome.com has tons of resources for you to be able to start learning and earning and leveling up your business. The time is right now. The opportunities are ready and you guys are ready. We'll see you same time, same place next week on the Amazon Files.